How to conceive a boy using ovulation. When to have intimacy. The closer of sexual intimacy is to ovulation, the higher the probability of conceiving a boy. If sexual intercourse was on ovulation day and the day after, almost certainly a boy would be born. It is because man's spermatozoids are more active and quicker reach an egg. Would you like to know how to calculate an ovulation for conceiving the gender of your choice, a boy or a girl? We will tell you how to schedule your active planning calendar in order to conceive a boy. How to calculate the ovulation day in order to conceive a boy. Practically 100% guarantee of successful conceiving a boy is provided by sexual intercourse SI, on the ovulation day. The lesser probability of conceiving a boy, however, the probability is still very high, is if sex will happen on the day prior to the ovulation day, approximately within 12 hours. It stands to reason that the key element to predetermine a male child is to not to make love within two to seven days prior to an egg retrieval, but only on the ovulation day and the day after. What's the point? The fact is that man's spermatozoids containing the Y chromosome are very active, but mainly live less than a day. Women's cells are more viable, but slow and heavy. Thus, we need to fulfill two conditions. 1. To prevent X sperm cells availability in fallopian tubes during ovulation. 2. To provide an open contact 12 hours prior to or 12 hours after an egg retrieval. Provided that Y spermatozoids will reach the intimate destination point first. For more information about peculiarities of spermatozoids, please see another video. Link to the article is below. How to calculate the most precise ovulation day if the period is irregular. In order to conceive a boy in an irregular period, it is required to practice safe sexual intercourse until test, LH test or spin barkeet test, will be positive, or doctor will tell you that ovulation will be today or tomorrow during a folliculometry. Now you can start to measure a basal body temperature and when a curve begins to stream up, proceed with an active planning. Link to the article is below. Note. The basal body temperature measurement is not the most reliable method to predict ovulation. As far as the temperature starts to grow after ovulation, and often it is increased gradually and not irregularly, it means that if there will now be any other symptoms or signs of ovulation, you could be late with an active planning. Conceiving a boy in regular period by ovulation date, if the period is regular like clockwork, it is then required to determine the duration of your second phase and deduct the number of days and period. It is easy to determine the luteal phase duration. Subtract the ovulation day from the number of days and period. For example, a menstrual period lasts 29 days. Tests plus BBT plus senses plus cervical mucus nature suggest that ovulation was on the 14th day of period. It means 29 minus 14 equals 15. The regular duration of second phase for a certain woman amounts to 15 days. In general, the normal duration amounts to 12 to 16 days. Did you know, if a woman precisely knows the number of luteal phase days and the increased BBT lasts more than 16 days, it means a possible pregnancy. To everyone planning, I wish you a successful pregnancy and healthy babies.